Here's the really important stuff that you'll come across during the trash and bosses in the freshly reworked Vortex Pinnacle. On the way to the first boss, you'll encounter the lurking Tempests. These do nothing as long as somebody in your party is facing their camera toward them, but if everyone turns away, they'll hit your entire group with a chain lightning, so make sure to keep an eye on them. These will be present during the first boss too, Grand Vizier Atan. Upon pulling the boss, four lurking Tempests will spawn, one in each corner. Throughout the fight, just make sure you turn your camera to them if you see them pop up and try and cast on you. The boss is quite simple otherwise, just kick the boss as much as you can while dodging tornadoes and electrified balls that will float around the room. If you get hit by these, you'll receive a nasty dot and 30% reduced haste. So yes, it's actually a DPS loss to be greedy here. Now and then, Atan will retract the tornadoes to form a shield. Just dodge these on the way in and the way out. And in this phase, your healer will have to deal with some AoE damage on the group. And you can still attack the boss during this phase. Rinse and repeat and you'll be on your way to the next area. This section of trash mainly consists of three types of enemies. You'll have your turbulent squalls, which don't do too much until they do. Just make sure you interrupt cloud burst and if you have any purges or magic dispels, you can remove their shields. Master spell could come in clutch here. Whenever there are Empyrean Assassins present, you want to try and spread out if you can, as they will jump to a random target and do AoE damage around them. Ideally, you want this to only hit one person at a time, and make sure that you either interrupt or dispel their vapor form, because it will cause them to take 90% reduced damage. Mages can spell steal this. The last enemy you'll encounter along the way is the Young Storm Dragon. Make sure to just stand in the green circle to receive the passive healing, but you will still need to dodge and avoid the frontal breath. On the second boss, Altarius, look which direction the winds are coming from. This will change direction throughout the fight, so you want to stand close to the boss so you can move to the new position faster. You want to stand between the boss and where the wind is coming from. It's not based on the wind being at your back. If you want to double check if you're standing correctly, check your debuffs by your minimap. Green is good and red is bad. Altarius will also do the same chilling breath frontal that the trash mob did and also occasionally cause a downburst indicated by a huge swirly and sending out a circular ripple. Getting hit by this will put a dot on you and silence you, so use the tornadoes around the room to launch yourself into the air right before it will hit you. You need to time this right. On the next set of trash, kick the Adept's Greater Heals and the Executor of the Caliph's Rally. When you encounter a Minister of Air, it will cast Lightning Lash on a player. Stand in the grounding field to completely avoid the damage. That's that big electric zone. Otherwise, it will one-shot you. Watch out though, you can't stand in there all the time as it will cast Overload Grounding Field, which will kill anyone inside. The last boss of Sard is quite simple. Don't cleave your friends with that blue circle and watch out for Static Cling. This is a cast that the boss will do, which will root you unless you are in the air as the cast ends. So you need to time it correctly by watching his cast bar. If someone messes up, then the healer can dispel them, but don't count on it. Getting rooted will mess you up when the ad spawns, or he starts to channel his ultimate. Switch to the ad as soon as possible and kill it to stop the group taking AoE damage. When he channels the unstable grounding field, you need to move into the triangle, much like the trash, before the end of the cast, because he will follow up with Supremacy of the Storm, killing anyone outside instantly. Rinse and repeat and you should be golden. If the boss is below 10% HP, then you probably don't need to switch to the next ad. Just finish him off and enjoy your loot. That's it guys, check out the next dungeon on screen now. And if you're looking for something more in depth, then I'll have some detailed masterclasses coming out during the season with all that extra information, tips and tricks and whatnot. So make sure you subscribe for those.